Hello everybody, this is Fida Master Dennis Arman. I'm back here with my very first chess webinar this Sunday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central European time. So the chess webinar will be provided via Zoom. So I will be sharing all the details for the webinar if you just send your email to fedamastertv at gmail.com. And the main focus of this very first seminar will be based on French defense advanced variation and particularly on the Milner Barry Gambit, which I have many years of experience playing this opening. I really would like to share my experience and knowledge with you guys. Um, not only from the white perspective, but also would like to show ideas from the black side of this opening. So I'm inviting both French defense players who would like to really um, expand their knowledge or deepen their understanding of this particular variation and how to treat this opening line especially. And also from the white side who are really looking forward to build up a sharp opening repertoire, which could be highly interesting sometimes to surprise your opponents and could be a highly interesting way in a must win situations for instance you can definitely use it as a surprise weapon against your opponent opponents so i would like to give a brief introduction in this video and will show you what will be our main uh, focus and attention will be on so if we continue to our main position e4 e6 d4 d5 e5 c5 c3 knight c6 knight f3 this is the typical french advanced variation position and to enter the milner barry gambit here white decides to play bishop d3 and this is highly interesting because white ignores the pressure simply on the d4 pawn and especially focus on peace development instead of holding on to the material in the center. So our focus in this opening line will be, of course, there are some nasty tricks which we will be maybe from time to time having a look into the positions. We will go through them briefly, but we will definitely go through the main principle lines and our main focus will be based on the two main continuations from the black side where black took the takes the first pawn and roots to take the second pawn on e5 and there is a very sharp continuation from the white side rook to e1 and we will be looking into very complicated positions from both sides black's main continuation is queen b8 and the second alternative for black seemingly a safer option mainly holding on to the d5 pawn um, so this will be also part of our focus and i also would like to share my experience and knowledge regarding the second alternative for black pawn to a6 where black claims that okay i have captured one pawn simply and i would like to claim that the position is simply better for black with a pawn up and white doesn't have sufficient compensation for the captured pawn and this will be our second focus where queen e2 is the most preferred option in the over the years and black has several interesting ideas which i would like to go through together in this chess webinar one of them is rook to c8 the other one is queen h4 which has been also tried as a surprise weapon and also retreating queen to b6 is also another interesting alternative which is played in practice by many players and the most principal line which we will be actually spending more time is knight e7 and bringing knight to c6 in two moves which um, has been preferred by higher level players in general so this is going to be very interesting to see what happens after king h1 f4 where white is trying to play dynamically in the center and black is claiming that the position is quite stable for them 
So I really invite both black and white players who are really looking forward to deepen their knowledge in this opening. This will be a highly beneficial seminar. I'm hoping to get everyone's attention in this one and really looking forward to see you on Sunday, 6 p.m. Central European time. Thank you so much for watching this video and really looking forward to see everyone on Sunday. Bye.